Have you ever walked past a graveyard and felt a shiver run down your spine? Picture this, a small quaint town tucked away from the hustle and bustle of city life. The air is fresh, the people are friendly, and life moves at a slower pace. At the heart of this town, there's a seemingly ordinary graveyard. During the day, it's quiet, peaceful, even serene. The sun casts long shadows over the tombstones, and the only sounds are the rustling of leaves and the occasional chirping of a bird. It's a place where the living can find solace in the memories of the departed. But as the sun dips below the horizon, the graveyard undergoes a transformation. The tranquility of the day is replaced by an eerie stillness that seems to hang in the air. The moon, full and bright, Welcome to Horror House, casts an ethereal glow over the tombstones. The wind whistles through the trees, creating a symphony of whispers that dance around the graves. In the heart of this graveyard, there's a particularly ancient tombstone, weathered by time, the inscription barely legible. But if you look closely, you can make out the name. Elizabeth Crane, a woman who lived and died over 200 years ago. It was on one fateful night, under the watchful gaze of a full moon, when a chilling incident unfolded in this very graveyard. The town was asleep, save for a lone figure who dared to venture into the graveyard at this late hour. Little did he know, his curiosity would lead him down a path from which there was no return. The temperature dropped, the wind picked up, and an uncanny feeling of dread filled the air. He stood in front of Elizabeth Crane's tombstone, the moonlight casting an ominous shadow. He felt a chill run down his spine, a sense of unease that he couldn't quite shake off. His heartbeat echoed in his ears as he looked around, half expecting something to jump out at him. And that's when it all began. On a night just like this, under the cold, watchful gaze of a full moon, as darkness fell, the graveyard took on a life of its own. This was not your everyday cemetery, but one steeped in history and mystery. As night's curtain dropped, the age-old stones stood like silent sentinels, guardians of the stories buried deep within the earth. The groundskeeper, a man of grit and gumption, began to notice peculiarities that made his skin prickle. Strange noises echoed through the misty air, a symphony of whispers that seemed to be speaking in an ancient forgotten language. It was as if the very wind carried tales of the departed, swirling around the tombstones, rustling the leaves, and making the old willows weep. Then there were the lights, flickering like wayward spirits lost in the labyrinth of the afterlife. They danced in the corners of his vision, always just out of sight, yet their glow illuminated the gloom with an eerie luminescence. The groundskeeper, a lantern his only companion, could not shake off the feeling that these were not mere tricks of the light but spectral signals from the other side, and the feeling of being watched. It was a sensation that crawled up his spine, a haunting chill that made the back of his neck tingle. An unseen presence seemed to lurk in the shadows, its gaze following his every move. The groundskeeper could not shake the feeling, the uncanny sense that he was not alone, that the graveyard was more than just a resting place for the dead. As the hours passed, the tension escalated. Each noise, each flicker of light, each chilling sensation heightened the sense of dread. The graveyard, once a place of peace, now seemed to harbor a sinister secret, a spectral story waiting to be told. The groundskeeper, though rattled, pressed on. He was determined to unravel the mystery, to uncover the truth behind the graveyard's strange occurrences. But as he ventured deeper into the night, he realized that this was more than just a graveyard shift. This was a journey into the unknown a dance with the supernatural. But nothing could have prepared him for what happened next. It was then that the groundskeeper came face to face with his worst nightmare. The quiet solitude of the graveyard was shattered by an eerie presence that seemed to emerge from the other. A spectral figure, delicate and almost translucent, appeared before the groundskeeper. A woman garbed in a flowing white dress, her face obscured by a veil of spectral mist. Her feet, if she had any, were hidden beneath the folds of her spectral gown, giving her an ethereal quality, 
as if she were floating above the cold, hard ground. The groundskeeper, a man of sturdy constitution, found his heart pounding in his chest, the blood in his veins turning to ice. He had seen his fair share of peculiarities in his years tending to the graveyard. But this, this was something else entirely. This was a ghost, a specter, a phantom, a being from the other side. As he looked upon the apparition, a chilling realization clawed its way into his mind. The woman, the ghostly figure before him, was undeniably familiar. Her face, though obscured by the spectral mist, was unmistakable. He knew her. She was a resident of the graveyard, a woman who had been laid to rest not too long ago, a woman whose grave he had personally dug. The terror that gripped him was unlike anything he had ever experienced. It was as if every horror story he had ever heard, every scary movie he had ever watched, had come to life before him. It was a fear that gnawed at his sanity, threatening to plunge him into the abyss of madness. He could feel the ghostly woman's gaze upon him, her unseen eyes boring into his soul. He could almost hear her voice, a haunting whisper that echoed in the silence of the graveyard. He could sense the sadness, the despair, the longing that seemed to emanate from her spectral form. It was a moment that seemed to stretch into eternity, a moment that was both terrifying and strangely mesmerizing. But then, as if jolted by a surge of primal fear, the groundskeeper found his legs. With a blood-curdling scream, he ran, leaving behind the ghostly apparition. The morning after the encounter was a scene of pure chaos. As the sun rose, it illuminated a graveyard transformed. The once tranquil haven of remembrance was now a tableau of disarray and palpable dread, a stark contrast to its former serene self. The groundskeeper, a stalwart man known for his unwavering stoicism, was found in an unprecedented state of shock. His eyes wide with terror held an unspeakable story he was unable to utter, a single word stolen by the horrors of the night. His entire demeanor was a testament to the inexplicable events that had occurred under the moon's watchful eye. News of the incident spread through the town like wildfire. Every household was buzzing with speculation, each theory more chilling than the last. The local diner, once a place of jovial conversation, became a gathering spot for hushed whispers and anxious glances. The barber shop, the grocery store, the post office. Every corner of the town was consumed by the mystery of the graveyard. The once revered graveyard, a place where the town's ancestors peacefully rested, was now the epicenter of a chilling enigma. Whispers of the supernatural began to circulate. Were the legends true? Was the graveyard truly haunted? The town's skepticism was replaced with fear, a chilling realization that perhaps not all was as it seemed. Parents shielded their children's eyes as they passed the iron gates, once a symbol of respect for the departed, now a reminder of the terror that had unfolded. The aftermath was a time of uncertainty and fear. The tranquility that had once blanketed the town was shattered, replaced by a fog of unease. The great graveyard stood silent, its secrets buried deep within the earth, its mysteries as untold as the stories of those who lay beneath its soil. The town was left to grapple with the unknown, the echoes of the night's terror still ringing in their ears. The once peaceful graveyard was now a place of fear and mystery. But what does this story truly mean? As we peel back the layers of this chilling tale, we find ourselves pondering the enigmatic space that exists between the known and the unknown, the natural and the supernatural. This isn't just a narrative of spectral shadows and eerie echoes in a graveyard. No, it's a testament to the boundless capacity of the human mind to conjure fear and fascination in equal measure. Let's think about it. The graveyard, a place of eternal rest, suddenly becomes a stage for our deepest fears and wildest imaginations. It's a symbol, a mirror reflecting back at us our own fears, anxieties, and curiosities about the mysteries that lie beyond our mortal realm. In the light of day, a graveyard is just a quiet, peaceful place. But when night falls, when shadows lengthen and familiar shapes morph into strange silhouettes, our perceptions shift. A logical, rational mind takes a back seat, 
and our ancient primal instincts take over. We see phantoms where there are only statues, hear whispers where there is only wind. So, is it the graveyard that's haunted, or is it our minds? Or perhaps it's both. You see, our minds are incredibly powerful. They can make us see things that aren't there, hear sounds that don't exist. It's this power of belief, this ability to imagine and create, that can transform a simple graveyard into a playground of the paranormal. We fear the unknown because it represents potential danger, potential harm. But it's this same unknown that also draws us in, that piques our curiosity, that makes us question and explore. And it's this exploration, this quest for understanding, that lies at the heart of every horror story. In the end, it's not just about a haunted graveyard, but about the horror that lies in the depths of our own minds. Thanks for watching video. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share for next story. Thank you.